Shalom Aleichem. All the stories of the Torah are a wonderful mirror, a great reflection that is showing to us what that is taking place in our own spirit, and as well what that is taking place in the heart of our Maker. When our Maker gave the Torah to the people of Israel, in the beginning of its giving, the people of Israel were standing in front of Mount Sinai. That position was called, is called Matan Torah, the Torah giving time. And in that time that the Creator gave us the Ten Commandments, imprinted on two tablets of the covenant, Luchot Habrit, the holy tablets, the first word that was written and was said by our Maker was Anochi. Hashem said, Anochi Adonai Elohecha. The first verse, Anochi Adonai Elohecha, and the meaning of the words Anochi Adonai Elohecha is me, I am, Hashem, your God. The meaning of the word Ani means I am, the source of light, the goodness itself, Adonai, the name of Hashem, that is influencing at you from above, I am your God, means I am the one who owns all the powers of the world, that are in the world. The name Elohecha, Elohim, is a name that is explaining that all the authority and the power of our Maker in leading the world is in the Creator's hand and no one else can move a finger without His decision. He is all the decisions maker. The leader of the creation in the name Elohim, the great God, the one who makes the creation work. And the way that He's doing it under that name Elohim is through judgments and trials by the Midah that is called Elohim, the Midah of power. In this world, and as well in the world of the Torah, means that all the creation is answering to judgments, means being judged on any act, on any action, on any word and thought. There is a certain kind of border that is limiting us from the light to flow fluently, completely, and grace to be influenced in completion. Means that the word Elohim is a name that is limiting the bounty from spreading wildly perfect, in, in perfection. It is a certain limitation that is holding back and stopping the light from spreading beyond the borders, the limitations that been set and decreed by the heavenly court, by the courthouse of heaven, of Shamaim. So, now we're going to talk about the word Anuchi. Anuchi is the first word that is written, that it means me, Anuchi is teaching us on the essence of the Creator. That is the way that He opens His words. That's the way that He decided to start giving the Torah, saying to us, Me, I am. He wants to tell us about Himself. So it's revealing His essence, something deep about Him. So the word Anuchi is the way that Hashem reveals something deep about Himself. Now, the Talmud, the Gemara, the sages in the Gemara are teaching us what is the meaning of the word Anuchi. Anuchi, even though it's a word that means me, Hashem is saying me, I am your God. Also, that word is built out of four letters, Aleph, Nun, Chaf, Yud. And those letters are first letters to four different words that together are building, composing, expressing, explaining 
shading light on the true meaning of that word Anuchi. So the word Anuchi starts with the letter Aleph. Aleph means Ani, I am. Nun of the word Anuchi, Nafshi, my spirit. Kaf, the third letter, Kaf, Ketavit, I wrote. The letter Yud in the end of the word Anuchi, Yehavit, it means that I gave you the thing that I wrote. And what is that thing that I wrote? My spirit itself. I, ga I gave you my essence. Ani, nafshi, ketavit, yehavit. Me, my spirit, I wrote it and gave it to you. This is who that Hashem really is. This is what that the Creator is telling us that He is. He is revealing His actions to us and He is telling us who He is. I am revealing to you my spirit by myself. I am reading it to you and I'm showing it to you. And the evidence for that is the Holy Torah, the wonderful truth. So, we should look for our own lives in the stories of the Torah and in the articles and sayings of the true righteous ones, the ones who are seeking for the truth and the ones who demands it, who are asking for it. They're the ones who are experiencing miracles. They see the wonders of our Maker because that they are and were nullifying themselves to the will of our Maker. Therefore, because of that fact that they're nullifying themselves completely to our Maker, they become one with Him and they can see His glory and beauty in full power. But we know about ourselves that unfortunately we are still suffering from the fact that the Creator is hiding His face from us. In many, many ways we're still living our lives in the dark, the Maker, and we are praying and many times not being answered. And sometimes we can feel that our condition is that we are under a heavy layer of darkness, exiled into a place of husks and false visions. We are under the nature of the creation that is being led, like we explained before, under constrictions, under limitations of light, and broken vessels here in this world we cannot see the full light because we are under the decrees of the heavens court the light is breaking to the sides and does not go down in completion straight forward towards us and therefore from here we cannot see the face of things we cannot see the perfection of the great creation how wide and beautiful and deep and eternal every particle of creation is and what is the great essence and nature of any aspect of creation but when we will have that merit to be redeemed and to enjoy the great light of our maker the Maker will shine His light in perfection towards us. And we will understand that everything that we experienced until now was as an outcome of the great will of our Maker to bring the light towards us in portions, in layers, in amounts, for us to be able to bear it to contain it, to perceive it, to digest it. The reason of all reasons is our Maker Himself, that He owns the great wisdom of them all. And He is revealing to us from above the mysterious wisdom that is ancient and pure and coming out of His great mercifulness and true kindness that there is no limit to it at all. And the main expression of His great compassion towards us is that He is dressing His light into portions and into small 
quantities because you cannot feed a little baby with huge amounts of adults food you cannot let him drink adults drinks you cannot teach him wisdom that is not according to his power of understanding and capability of grasping therefore the real mercy is when the creator is feeding the child according to his ability and to his power so the creator is revealing his patience on us by giving us the light in portions for us to be able to grow and to attach ourselves to him in steps and the creator is called elohim chaim that is the correction of the word elohim the name elohim like we said is the name of god but it's one of the names that are expressing the godliness in limitations into constrictions under the rule systems that is being set by the kingship of heaven but the correction of that means the completion of all that process of correction will be set when the maker will reveal himself in the name Elohim Chaim that that name Elohim will reveal itself as the source of life and not the source of constriction just that the mercifulness and kindness of our maker will be seen through the limitations and the constrictions and the light will shine and he the king of the world and his kingship will show its greatness and its 100 percent control on the whole wide world and the redemption will take place in our days amen ken yehi ratzon amen may it be his will The Emuna Project is a non-profit dedicated to producing faith-based media. To support this work, visit emuna.com.